Boys, girls, cats, and squirrels, what is going on? My name is Lightless Alton. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke series here on the channel. Hope you all are having a great day, and let's not waste any time because we want to get this series finished by a week from today as of I'm recording this. It seems like this series is going to be daily up to Swish and Swish up to Sword, Sword and Shield. Um, and if we're, if we're not done going into Sword and Shield, I am not putting the series on pause. The series will go up every day that Sword and Shield doesn't. And if I decide to do Sword and Shield daily, then well, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we'll end up having two videos in one day, but I really don't want to do that because with such a low with such a low viewership already, I just don't think my Emerald will get any views if I have Sword and Shield going up at the same time. And I also don't think Emerald will get views once Sword and Shield is up and going. So yeah, maybe a pause would be best, but I don't want to pause it. So let's get this done before Sword and Shield drop next Friday. But yeah, here we are. Um, there's no point really doing a team recap. I'll, I'll like open up the team just to show you what's going on. We got Bursty, which should be Bursted. We're going to change it once we get to another city. And we're actually going to the city that the name raider's in very soon for story stuff anyways. We also got smashed, rattled, slacked, chilled, died last episode. He lived about two minutes. And yeah, and then we got instructed just for that intimidate. But yeah, let's keep on going. Uh, is Bursted who I want out in front? Yeah, everybody's 36. That's all right. We're golden right now. I forget who we caught at the end of last episode, but I know I was really pleased about the capture. Oh, no way. It gets foggy up here, so this is going to happen again. No way. I can't get out of it. Okay. Thank God it's just straight and there's not much to do here. Oh my God. I need to figure out what's going on. I need to figure out if there's a way to fix this. Either way, we're almost out of this place, so that's okay. And I could just fly directly out of this place to the next city that we're going to be going to, which is... Well, technically, we should enter Lily Cove just so we could fly there right afterwards, but I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. He's level 32. They're catching up in levels real quick. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. I feel really weird recording today. My headphones weren't plugged into my computer, so I'm like, screw it, I'm just going to record without headphones. Um, I actually don't even remember where I left them. They might be on my nightstand table, just like right in front of me, but there's just no point. I mean, I just got home from work like literally 40 minutes ago. Uh, I came, I sat down, watched one of the YouTubers that I've been watching recently. Another small YouTuber, apparently he used to do something, now he's back. I haven't really talked to him that much, I've been talking to him a bit on Twitter. You guys should definitely go check him out, though. His name... Hold on. I'm forgetting his name right now. Jesus, I can't find it. Uh, da 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 Where is it? Where is he? Trainer Nugs. I'm even gonna link his YouTube in the... Um... In the description down below definitely go check him out he is a great youtuber uh he only has two videos up right now he's doing a wedlock of pokemon black i think maybe it's white i know it's one of the two and uh i gotta say it's only been two videos and one of them was a choose my starter but i'm still loving the content my dude keep it up great it's just great content and hope we talk some more if you're watching this hope we talk some more on twitter and get into that discord chat that we've been talking about soon but yeah, just a fantastic YouTuber and great guy. I absolutely love him. Alright, Bursted getting up to level 37. It's really bothering me that his name is Bursty. We had a theme going on in this playthrough of ED, ED. And I forgot one day at the beginning of the episode and name, named him Bursty instead of Bursted. Boy, does that burst my bubble. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It was bad. I'm sorry. It was a bad joke. I'm sorry. It was just too convenient not to say. Yo, my voice, my throat's getting a little dry and I don't got any water, so I may have to pop that can of monster in front of me. However, I really don't. 
because it's 11.35 p.m. And I want to go to bed right after I'm done recording maybe two, three episodes. So, actually, let's just ember the worm pearl because I think that'll kill it. And, oh, no more confusion. No more confusion? That means I gotta go for swift. And it's not gonna affect ghastly. Alright, big mistake here, boys. Big mistake, but it's okay. Ghastly's not gonna kill Smashed in one hit. It's all good. And does Ghastly even have a decent ghost move? Nightshade. Mmm, I'm so afraid. Are you gonna do, like, what, a quarter? Not even a quarter. Dude, get out of here. I'm gonna Flame Wheel you, and then Swift. Flame Wheel's not gonna one-shot, I don't think, but still. But either way, yeah. Go and definitely give my boy trainer nugs a quick look at for those of you that are watching he's doing fantastic and i'm really enjoying talking to him dude dude if you're watching this keep up the good work but um yeah what else was i gonna say i was gonna say something else i forget how i got into talking about him um i think i was just talking about youtube in general and i just came across him and i was like you know what let's plug him um but yeah, he's a great guy. And just, yeah, I think that's enough about him. I don't, we're, like, really talking about him right now. We've spent a solid three out of the five minutes of the recording just talking about Nugs. Maybe we gotta name a Pokemon after him. Maybe our next capture, depending on what it is, we'll name it, like, Nugged. Or something like that. Nugged. We'll see. We'll see who it is, see what it is, and just go with it. Oh. But yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to grind out these episodes for Sword and Shield because I am just so pumped for Sword and Shield. If you're not following me on Twitter, by the way, you should definitely go do that because I've been dropping some like teasers for like the Sword and Shield playthrough. Now, obviously it hasn't been recorded yet because Sword and Shield's not out, but I have made the thumbnail, I've made the layout, and I even have a new logo right now live on Twitter, and I'm still debating if I'm going to bring it to, um... If I'm going to bring it to YouTube or not, I think I might, I think I just might so have to bring it to uh, YouTube, but yeah, if you're not following me on Twitter, you gotta get on it, because I'm leaking, I'm leaking the thumbnail logo, I'm leaking, maybe the layout soon's going to get leaked, I'm not going to lie though, the layout isn't that, isn't that much, like, I'm not good, great with GFX, like, me it's really pretty much plug and play like even my new logo if it wasn't a professionally done logo it was some plug and play shenanigans but yeah so that's what's going on so if you're not following me on twitter you gotta get on that to know what's going on like i've been just so hyped i was home today because i don't have school on thursdays uh and it is thursday as i'm recording this actually it's about to be friday during this recording next recording it's going to turn to friday um we're not next recording next episode because i'm recording this is my first one in this um this is my first one today that i'm recording and i'm probably going to record two or three depending on how tired i feel and yeah have we taught fly to anyone yet but yeah today i was just so pumped i started spamming and i'm talking spam Ming Twitter today and I am so sorry for those of you that do follow me on Twitter but don't don't take that to mean I spam all the time don't follow me it was all good spamming I was just talking about the hype for Twitter the hype for Sword and Shield I was talking about what's gonna happen um I was talking about how um I gotta go sleepboard I was talking about how I'm staying up Thursday night if the game gets released at midnight I am staying up Thursday night to record episodes at midnight i will be up at midnight recording episodes for you guys and editing the second i'm done recording the first episode i'm gonna stop playing i'm gonna edit it and then record more and while i'm editing it after i'm done editing it i'm gonna start rendering it immediately the video so i can get it up for you guys as fast as i can because yo was i not supposed to come here yet Where was I supposed to go then? 
No, there's no way. I was supposed to be here. I was supposed to be here. I don't go to the aqua base yet. Okay, we gotta change his name to Bruce Did. Yeah, I'm hoping to get an episode for you guys as of Friday. I want an episode up for you guys Friday. And not even Friday night, Friday like at 12. Bursted. Burst. I think I need two T's in this. You know what? We're just gonna roll with it. Even if that's not how you spell it, it's how you spell it now. But yeah. And we aren't just gonna be doing a regular Nuzlocke, by the way. It was announced today. I'm gonna be doing. Oh, actually, I said this in a couple videos ago, but I officially came up with a name because there is a name out there for it, technically. Um, a Genlock. That's what we're going to be doing. We are only going to be using Pokemon that are native to that region. So, like, new Gen 8 Pokemon. Okay, where would it be? Could it be... Maybe I'm supposed to go to Laverage Town. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's check this out first. Maybe I gotta go do the magma stuff. Do 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 do. Um, but yeah, we are gonna be calling it a Genlock, and pretty much it's pretty much just a regular Nuzlocke. However, the only Pokemon we're allowed to encounter are the Pokemon that are new. So all the new Pokemon, so Galarian forms, all the new Pokemon like the Starters and Corviknight and all them. And yeah, cause. One thing that gets people hyped about new games is the new Pokemon. That's what people are really hyped for. Is they're like, yes, some new Pokemon we get to use. I was supposed to come here first. Okay. Um, That's what gets people hyped the most is the new Pokemon that are coming out. So, I'm going to count this as a new encounter, by the way. I know sometimes I'm counting stuff as new encounters when it's not supposed to be considered a new encounter. But this is how I roll, so this is how we're going to do it. I don't have any plans to use, um, to use Instructed, so he's just going to be an HM slave for us now, and either way, if I ever decide to use him, I could just go to the move deleter and reteach him moves, like, that's the only reason why I'm keeping Confusion, is because in case I do end up using him, I want Confusion to be there, um, and like, for other moves, I could teach him Jump Kick and stuff that I have, I have TMs that I could teach him, in case we ever do use him, but yeah. So, we're going to be calling it a Genlog, yeah, and the reason why I'm doing a Genlog instead of just a regular Nuzlocke is because the thing that gets me hyped is new Pokemon. That's the hype with the new games. It's new Pokemon. Yeah, the story's cool and stuff, but it's new Pokemon that really matter to me. So I want to make sure that I get to use the new Pokemon. I don't want to be going around, walking around with a Butterfree, going to the first gym. Nah, that's not me. I want to be rolling in with my starter, rolling in with a, like a Wooloo and a Corviknight, or whatever, um... Whatever the pre-evolution's called, I'm not gonna say it. You all should know that he's not a pre-evolution. He does, uh, you should, you should all probably know by now that he's not a standalone Pokemon. He does have prior evolutions. Um, I hope I didn't just spoil something for you. If I did, I do apologize for that. However, like, it was pretty obvious that Corviknight was gonna be the starting bird. Um... But yeah, so I definitely want to be rolling in with like Corviknight and stuff like that. So, Genlock time. So that's what we're going to be doing starting next Friday. Friday, November 15th. I'm going to be up at midnight playing, recording, making sure you guys get an episode on Friday. An episode on Saturday and an episode on Sunday. That's really what I want to do Thursday. That's my main goal for next Thursday is I want to record three episodes at midnight for you guys so you have episodes all weekend long and yeah and i think i think the first week of launch it is going to be daily uploads i do want to upload daily for the first week of sword and shield um that's my plan right now will that plan be able to get carried out i am not sure by the way torkoal is our first encounter in this magma hideout so we are going to capture him one two Mm. Oh, that sucks. It wasn't a triple jiggle, though, so we should be able to catch him in the next one. But yeah, that's the plan right now. Hopefully the plan works out. If it doesn't, well, then that 
happens. But yeah, I just can't wait for Sword and Shield. And like, Sword and Shield is going to be a very different playthrough too. Because I'm going to be reading dialogue and stuff. Because I won't know where to go. It's not like Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon and Emerald, I know like the back of my hand generally. As I made a mistake there, yeah, I know I did that. But like, Pokemon Emerald, I pretty much know is the back of my hand. It's the game I've played the most. I've played this game easily a hundred times. And yeah. What are we going to name this guy? What are we going to name this guy? Tor, Coal, Coal, Char... Charcoal. You're gonna name this guy slightly. Charred. Slightly charred for charcoal. But yeah. Now I'm actually gonna pop a repel so we don't have to get too many encounters while we're in here. I should have like five super repels, right? Super Repel. We have 10 Super Repels. That's fantastic. So, this is one of the caves that I actually do mess up all the time in where I'm going. Um, I always forget, like, which is the proper way. C caves are, like, the... This, blah, blah, blah. Caves are the thing I know the least in this game. Like, this cave. And I always mess up, um... Which cave is it? The like Champion Cave or whatever it's called. The cave right before, <laughs> right before the Elite Four and stuff. Um, oh, Victory Road. I always mess up Victory Road in this game too. Even if, even though it is so easy, Victory Road in this game is so plain simple, and yet I mess it up every single time I do it. So um, hopefully I don't mess it up this time. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But um, yeah. Um, what was I going to say there? Oh yeah, this tunnel too. I always make like, this tunnel's pretty easy too, but I end up making a mistake. I'm going to make a mistake eventually. And then I always play it off like, haha, I wanted to go this way for the items. Even though like, that wasn't my original intention. But yeah. But either way, that's what we're working on. I misspelled bursted there. I shouldn't have put the two T's and I did and now it's bothering me, but I'm just gonna leave it. It's funny. I'm just gonna let it roll off of me. And you know, pretend like it was meant to happen. But yeah. I really hope I can get a door soon so I don't have to talk like this every time I do a late night recording, because I don't wanna be talk I don't wanna be recording sword and shield like this. I'm probably gonna have to. I'm sorry about that. Maybe I'll talk a bit louder for Sword and Shield. Because it is Sword and Shield. Even right now, I could probably talk like this. But then again, I don't want to wake anybody up. So, yeah, that's why I talk like this. It's to kind of, like, keep my voice down, let my family sleep. That's why if we get a really, like, powerful legendary, I can't scream and shout. Because there are people here, and there are people sleeping. So, that kind of sucks. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to pop this monster. <sighs> I don't know if you guys heard that crack. Um, I also just saw on OBS that my mic was frozen there for a bit. I hope my audio isn't messed up. It said it was still recording. Hopefully nothing messed up. If something did mess up, then this is going to be another mute episode or par partially mute episode. But hopefully that is not the case. Because uh, if it is, I am going to be extremely disappointed. And yeah. Yeah, one thing I really want to get done real quick after Sword and Shield, like after I'm, or like even possibly during my Sword and Shield playthrough, is I want to get a cage lock going through my sword and shield playthrough. A regular cage lock or even a rival lock um, going through my sword and shield. I, I would like my first collab to be on sword and shield if I could find somebody to collab with for sword and shield. Like I know there could be a guy that I'm talking to right now. Could be two that I'm talking to right now that I could potentially collab with soon. Not going to make any promises. But there is a possibility that we could be collabing soon one day. Um... 
And if that is the case, I'm going to talk to him and I'd be like, yo, listen, do you have a capture card? Because I'd be so down for sword and shield. You're down, I'm down, let's get it. Oh yeah, back to the whole logo thing I was talking about before. Another thing I want to do is I want to create a new and proper banner for the YouTube channel. Uh, right now my banner on Twitter is actually my thumbnail for the Sword and Shield playthrough. So if you can't find my tweet for the thumbnail, definitely check out my profile and you can click on my banner or my header or whatever you want to call it. And that is actually the thumbnail for the Sword and Shield playthrough. It's pretty basic. I actually jacked the cover art for it um, of Sword and Shield. Jacked loose terms. I don't even think it's the effect official cover art it might be um but it's also what's on all over their website and stuff and it was just so cool it's too hard to pass up and then like i made like took the nice sword emblem and then added like pokemon sword genlock well it's slightly salted it's pokemon sword genlock because there are other people that consider a genlock like i was looking up genlock and stuff and there was this one guy on youtube this guy and his friend that you have to play through every generation of each game but only up to the second badge or something it was weird i didn't like that i'm like i don't even understand why that's called a gen lock but yeah uh but like one other guy was doing the same idea as me and he called it a gen lock but like the difference in his gen lock was um it's not just like oh since you're playing since you're playing pokemon sword and shield you have to use pokemon sword and shield playthrough a uh, pokemon that's not how he was doing it. The way he was doing a gen lock, it was like, you choose a specific gen, you choose a game, and then you choose a specific generation. So let's say you choose gen 2, and you choose sword and shield, you, you're only allowed to use gen 2 Pokemon in sword and shield. And I'm like, yeah, no, we're doing a gen lock, and it's going to be like a gen 8 gen lock. That's why I contemplated calling it a region lock, but then when I was looking up region lock to see if there's any Nuzlocke variations like it, everybody was, all the researcher other results that came up were like when games get region locked and stuff so i'm like oh i don't want to do that i don't want to i don't want to get mixed up with that stuff so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna call it a gen lock i'll live with the fact that i might get overthrown by other people's gen locks and it's okay because that's the salty way <laughs> i don't know i just kind of threw something random in there But yeah, so it's going to be a gen lock starting Friday. Let me know if you're hyped. And let me know what what sword and shield Pokemon you are hyped to see in my Nuzlocke for my gen lock. Let me know if there's like one Pokemon that you really think uh, I should use. Especially if I capture, if I'm able to capture it. Which Pokemon I think you think I should use. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And if I end up catching it. I might even name it just after you whoever whatever pokemon you say you're gonna game get named after it but it's gonna also be first come first serve for that so like if like some guy like for an example if i think his name is mech man or mecha man if mecha man comes in and he's like yo you should use corviknight i'm gonna name corviknight after mecha man but if like i know his name's or maybe it's meta man i forget exactly what his name is and i'm sorry dude I love your content too. Your content's freaking amazing. I'm a big fan of your content, and you you've been coming to short show support in the episodes, and I freaking love that. Um, but if he says, "Yo, dude, I think you should use Corviknight," which I really want to do, I'm gonna name it after him. But then let's say another guy comes in like two minutes later and says, "Yo, you should use Corviknight," I'm gonna be like, "Yo, sorry, dude. Is there another Pokemon that you would really like to see me use too? In case I capture it, you'll get named after it because Mecha Man or Meta Man." I'm just gonna call him man watch man not even be in his name and I'm just messing up completely here um but this guy already called for it so it's gonna go to him sorry my dude but is there another Pokemon you wanted to be named after so check the comments down below be like yo I really want to see you use this but if you capture this please name it after me and I'll be like sure thing but yeah but don't don't choose any starters because like I already know what starter I'm going with. And like I don't want to just have to name it after somebody that comments down below. I wanna be I wanna choose who I name it after. So if it is somebody comments that comments down below, it's gonna be named after like the guy I want it to be named after, a guy that's been either showing a lot of support or something. Or just a name I come up with. Like I'm choosing Grookey, I'll be honest. 
so don't say Grookey in the comments, because if you say Grookey, then there's a chance you might not get named after him. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to choose, like, a guy that I think has been showing support or something, or a guy I've been getting along with really well or something like that, or just I'm going to come up with a random name, like, maybe there's a name I really want to call him that I'm going to figure out before next Friday, or somebody like IRL is, like, does it, makes a good impression on me, and, like, a guy named Ryan makes a good impression on me, and I'm like, you know what, thank you, Ryan, for that, I'm naming Grookey after you. If he gets a crit, do we die? I'll take that as a yes. Boys, I messed up. Boys, I am sad. I lost half the ocean. We're down to a squad of three now. Um, Torkoal, that Torkoal that we caught at the beginning of the episode might be coming on the team now. I guess we should have kept Flareon. Um, I mean, either Flareon's coming on the team or that Torkoal is. If Torkoal has like an OP ability, I forget if we actually got to see his ability or not. Um, then he's going to be on the team. But if not, then I'm just bringing Flareon back on. Now we're down to three Pokemon. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring on the next Pokemon uh, in between episodes. I'm gonna more like after this cave, we're gonna hit a Pokemon Center, and that's probably gonna be the end of the episode. After that, I'm probably gonna complete the Magma hideout and then end the episode. Um, but yeah, and then in between this episode and the next episode, I'm gonna grind up. A Pokemon because it should only be a couple levels it shouldn't be that much I'll probably grind it up to the level that Typhlosion died at or like level 30 so now probably the le level that Typhlosion died at so I don't feel like there's wasted XP but yeah maybe a bit less maybe maybe 36 or 37 or something because levels are starting up starting to catch up to us And it's okay that levels are catching up to us, but like, I don't want to be severely underleveled for the Elite Four. That's one thing I definitely don't want to be. Oh, we also have a Dratini in the box. So when I box Snow Run, right? I wanted to level up Dratini for this episode. Maybe I'll go train both of them up. So thank God I started drinking that monster. Yeah, I'll go train both of them up. Infusion and then surf and finish it because I don't think infusion is gonna kill. Oh, it does. We snag that crit. But um, yeah. Is this gonna do enough now? Are you gonna kill Togepi? You should. Yep, you do. Beautiful. We're coming up to the boss now. I actually ended up going the complete right way in this. See, I always think that I'm like, oh, going straight is too obvious. I gotta make a left here. But no, it's, I always forget this is a kid's game. There are some obvious things. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that's the question of the day before what I was talking about before. Let me know what Pokemon you're really hyped to see in my gen lock. Or a Pokemon you're really hyped to use in Sword and Shield, not including starters, obviously. Um, but let me know what Pokemon. Like me, the main Pokemon I'm really hyped to use. There's two. There's... Corviknight, obviously, because I my draft team, that league that I was talking about that I want to do with YouTubers, either with either the league that I make with YouTubers, if I end up making one, because I still have to find guys to do that with. I haven't even talked to anyone yet, because it's a little early. After Sword and Shield come out, I'm going to talk to the guys, see like how they feel about it. Maybe like a week after Sword and Shield, I'm going to talk about it, maybe try to end for like the end of November, beginning of December. Like maybe start, start the draft end of November, and then announce everything like beginning of December I'm only gonna announce like the coaches and like everything else only starting like um only whenever we're like about to start the first week or something because I want to make sure we get through the draft and all the coaches are actually gonna stay in or at least I want to start the draft once the draft started maybe like throughout each day of the draft I'll like 
if the draft takes multiple days if we can't get everybody on at the same time. Um, I'm gonna like, um, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm going to announce like one person, one to two people each day that the draft's going on or something. Ooh, slash getting a crit. But like, yeah, definitely. So yeah, my team name is actually going to be Vegas Corvinized. I think I've talked about this in a previous video. My, one of my, I, I've had multiple draft league teams. My first ever draft league team, I think was called Philadelphia Glalies. Um, that's my OG and they always hold a warm place in my heart. Uh, I also, I've also had Minnesota Shinx. Um... Minnesota Shinx, what else have I had? A Quebec Neuverns. That was a cool one. I really like that one. I'm forgetting one that I used to use all the time. Not my Vegas one. There was another one that I used for so long. And that's how people knew me by it. They knew me by that. But either way, I forget it. But like the latest one that I've been using the most is Vegas Golden Magnemites. And now I'm officially retiring that name. That's going to be like our classic name. So like if I ever do, I'm going to be like, yo, I'm bringing back the classic name for a season. It's going to be Vegas Golden Magnemites. But my main name now is going to be Vegas Corvinites. I am just so pumped for that. Um, I have a second name that I'm pondering in for if I ever have two series going on at once I'm gonna bring this name in too However, I do not want to mention it because it is a spoiler for a Final evolution of a certain mod. You know what? I'll say the mod which mod it is. Oh My god, why am I risking stuff so hard? Yo, slightly salted pay attention We're gonna use a hyper potion here I'll say what mod it is. It's for Grookey's Final Evolution. That's a hint. If you know who it is, then okay. Um, and I think I've mentioned where I'm from, my hometown. Uh, it's going to have to do with my hometown. I'm not going to say what my hometown is now. If you can figure it out and piece it together, then you got it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you figured out what I'm going to be calling it. But do not spoil the entire Pokemon's name because I'm going to tell you right now, it does not have to do with the entire Pokemon's name. But the name was leaked for his final evolution, and I know what his final evolution looks like, and I've already have a de an idea of what the logo is going to look like, and I am just so pumped. If I do end up making that a thing, I might make it a thing and just have those as my two teams. Because right now my two teams are going to be Vegas Corviknights. And if I do need a second name, uh, I'm going to use one of my old ones. I'm thinking about bringing back Philadelphia Glalies. I don't even think Glalie is in the Pokedex. I need to see. I forget what the entire Pokedex is for Sword and Shield. So I'm going to have to look at Sword and Shield's entire Pokedex. And see which of my old names still make sense with the new meta game that's coming in. But um, yeah, that's gonna be one thing that will be happening. Is I definitely want to hit up a YouTube series, either create one of my own or join a YouTube series that's going on already for competitive draft league. Join it with under the name Vegas Corvinites, and hopefully that happens. Um sooner rather than later i'd be really down to get it going as fast as i can uh, but um yeah i just went into a long tangent there when it was just supposed to be let me know which pokemon you're really hyped to use and which and let me know what pokemon you want to see me use from the new decks huh also one thing that might happen in the gen walk that i'm considering is I might be making a Gigantamax clause. So if the Pokemon, if there is an old Pokemon that I do want to use, like I go, I go do a max rate battle, and it's like, oh, you found a Gigantamax, a uh, Larvitar, a Larvitar that can Gigantamax as a Tyranitar, right? Then I might consider using it, not a Dynamax clause, but a Gigantamax clause, because every Pokemon can get a Dynamax variant. But I think I might make a Gigantamax clause. 
So like if I end up if I, f I have a feeling you're gonna get gifted uh, by Leon a Charmander that hit their Charizard will be able to Gigantamax. Um, maybe I'll end up using that Charmander. Do I think I'm gonna be using that Charmander? Possibly not. But if, if that is a cause, if that is a thing, then I'll use a Charmander as a Gigantamax clause. But all the clauses, all the rules will definitely be in the description of the first ever episode. I know that's something that I said I was going to do for the Emerald series that I never did. The Nuzlocke rules aren't in the description, but everybody knows the rules to a Nuzlocke. So I think putting the Nuzlocke rules in the description is kind of pointless. If you ever have a question about the Nuzlocke rule, you can ask it in the comment section down below and I will reply to you. But I think just the basic stuff is going to be... I think the basic stuff of what a Nuzlocke is... Is not going to be in the comment section down below, but like all the rules that I'm making exceptions to, like all the clauses that I'm introduce that I'm gonna uh, be working with, uh, or allowed to use, like dupes clause. Um, I think the dupes clause is going to be uh, forced in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I get as many new Pokemon as I can that I can use, because I don't want like, even though my Corviknight might die, and I'm gonna want to continue using him, I don't want to just be able to go catch another Corviknight. Uh, because I want to use as many new Pokemon as I can. So I think I'm going to do Forced Dupes Claws. Uh, but Shiny Claws isn't effective. If I do run into a Shiny anytime during my playthrough, I will be allowed to catch it for sure. Throughout my playthrough, um, depending if like it's revealed the best method to Shiny Hunt, I may even do a Shiny Hunt mid-series and get a nice Shiny on the team. Because... Who doesn't love a shiny? And that's one thing I do want to introduce to the channel. If my PC can handle it, I want to start doing live streams in Sword and Shield of sh me shiny hunting. And maybe some even battles against you guys, against my fans. That'd be really nice. Well, against fans, viewers, other YouTubers. Definitely would like to do that. Uh, there's even another series that I've been that I've been noticing on YouTube by bigger YouTubers. Well, they're pretty medium PokeTubers. Um, but they are really great guys. Uh, I forget their names completely though, but I like the idea and I don't want to say it right now in case I do end up doing it. I don't want to spoil it now. Um, but yeah, I definitely want it. There's multiple series that I would like to live stream. I would even love to live stream like, um, online sword, and, uh, not sword and shield, online super smash bros, maybe with viewers, with, with viewers, subscribers, anything with people from like discord groups with friends even though i don't have a lot of friends with switches i have one and i still haven't battled him in, in super smash bros that's got to change but um yeah like i said there's also my best friend that i still want to do a collab series with i'm really hoping i can convince him to do a diamond and pearl soul link with me even though he's never done a nuzlocke before I'll help him out, I'll have him share screens with me. And, um... Well, play the game together. Can you stop doing this to me? Oh my god, we're swapping. Oh, we, we might not have to. Um... Do I want to risk it? I'll risk Twister. Okay, we're faster, this should kill, this should kill. He's level 39! Oh my god, I didn't realize he was level 39. Yo, this is troublesome. Yo, we're at 35 minutes. This has to end live. I'm just going to end it right after this battle. You don't need to see me go back to the Pokemon Center and stuff. We're going to go into Smashed. We are definitely leveling up whatever Pokemon we bring onto the team. We're leveling them right up to 38. Because now we are underleveled. <laughs> okay. His attack is beastly. I think he, he's weak on the special side, though, right? Oh, no. No. No, he's not, apparently. Yo. I've been getting into tangents, and it's slowing me down a lot. We gotta stop getting into these tangents. Luckily, we are about to be at the 7th gym. By the end of next episode, I really want to be at the 7th gym, if not taking it on. And then, like, from there, it's just gonna be steamrolling. I could potentially, no, in the next episode, by the end of today, I could be at the last gym, not taking it on yet, but after, not after next episode, but the episode after that, we'll be just outside the next gym, and then the next three episodes will be us recording 
the finale or leading up to the finale worst comes to worst if i am not done if there's only one episode like i get to thursday and it's only like one more episode carried on to friday for like um that'd be the ending i might just do an hour of power for the finale but either way guys that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy please hit that like button uh comment down below answering the uh question of the day uh who do you want to see me use in sword and shield in my sword and shield genlock and uh if you guys are enjoying the series so far please hit that subscribe button it means the absolute world to me thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one stay salty